All right, all right, all right. We are live. Back in the Welcome. building. Yes, sir. Welcome to another exciting uh, episode of Technology Tuesday. I'm your host, Greg Russell, here with my good friend, partner in crime, Mr. Jerry Franklin Pro. And today we got some crazy resources we're going to share with you guys. Um, found a lot of cool uh, apps and tools and resources that we're going to share with you guys. So stick around. Make sure you watch this one. Tell somebody we are on because today we are going to lose our minds on these apps. So uh, also we're going to talk about what happened today with Facebook going down and we're going to get ready to share all of that with you right now. All right, all right, man. All right, all right. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I know people probably think it's what's, what's going on with my location. I got the the lights behind me today. <laughs> so, man, uh, we we were in Florida. How, how long has it been since we got back from Florida? Two months? No, just about in a January, month. January, right? It was January. January, yeah. But it was January, January. January at the end of January, January twenty fifth through the twenty eighth. Okay. Yeah. All right. Right. So it's so just like over a month. So. Okay. All right. So we had talked about those selfie stick tripod situations. So um, this this idea of having that makes it so convenient. Like I'm, I'm out in South Carolina right now in, in Charleston, South Carolina. So to get on the show, just popped up the little selfie stick, put the phone right up, bam, ready to go. Like <laughs> two, three minutes. So yeah, for those who didn't get on that, that we talked about those special selfie stick tripods. This is yet another episode where the Trumpy selfie, selfie stick tripod is in action. The lightsaber <laughs> is what I call it. John's like, you, like, you know, it's the lightsaber. Well, it's like the turn of the Jedi. Boom, boom, boom. So we are back. It's Technology Tuesday. So we always got some gadgets, always got some things for you. And today, man, was a crazy day. As Greg mentioned, uh, Facebook went down. We got, we got a whole bunch of apps in store. I mean, some of these apps... Are going to just, I mean, blow your Greg, Greg hit it that they're going to blow your mind, but yeah, they, they, that's not an overstatement. We're kind of like underselling what they are. So we're always in the lab finding new things. So that's why you do not want to miss an episode, uh, regardless of what season it is. And if you haven't received the list of all the apps we talked about, definitely you want to go check that out. I mean, Greg, what's the, what's the website they should know about that to get the apps? It is gettechtools.com. Get tech right. tools. Get com. Get tech yes, tools. com. Because and we're gonna be and let's gonna keep the, we're gonna keep keep building on that list. So you definitely want to get in there if you subscribe and get the list. Then you definitely get the updates as we go along. That's right. That's right. So go ahead and grab that as we uh, will update that list. I want to thank all of our syndication partners. So if you are seeing us in one of our groups. Thank you guys for sharing um, our show and our content. We greatly appreciate that. And if you're watching this, man, and you're in one of these groups, go ahead and help us grow these groups. Let someone know about the group that you're in and why they should join. Just reach out to one person. If everyone goes gets one more person, we can double the size of the group. So let's do our part and help grow these groups, um, which helps pay the bills and do all the things that we know and love and are trying to do in our businesses and in our lives. And speaking of being in these groups, man, listen, so if you're not aware, um, we might not even had a show today because this morning Facebook went down. Um, well, not Facebook, but Meta. OK, Meta went down. And when Meta went down, it went down with all its properties. So Facebook, uh, Instagram and Messenger. And it, it really it really made me think threads, about it. Threads, threads went down, too. Which one? Threads. Threads went down to is isn't Threads Twitter? No, nah, I mean that's 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 X. Twitter yeah. is now X. And Threads Twi is Facebook's. Uh, Threads is Meta's Twitter. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Y yes, you are correct. And uh, <laughs> yes, that went down too. It just made me think about how some people are heavy. Their businesses heavily rely on these major platforms. 
Um, right. You know, so we were, if, if Facebook was still down, we wouldn't be able to have our show. Um, for myself, Messenger is a big part of how I connect with a lot of my uh, clients and how I reach new clients. And it just made me think about, you know, like, what if this went, what if this wasn't like just a temporary inconvenience? What if it like really went down, down? It was like, that's it. It can't come back. It's gone. It, it died or whatever. Um, you know, we would adapt, but it just, it just makes, it made me think about how much we can rely on these platforms. And it made me think about, um, how susceptible to a, a, a major thing going down could affect, you know, our business. So I want you to think about that. Like what, what, what businesses are you heavily, um, relying on to run your business? Right. And think about how that would affect it if it went down, um, and never came back. And the other part, Jerry, to that, and then I'll let you chime in is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the size of the site or how much money you have every site crashes sooner or later for some amount of time. Um, Google's been down, Facebook's been down, or Meta's been down, right? They all have times where they have downtimes. They are all reliant on computers and computers are um, susceptible to hacks and crashes and everything else. And even the largest of companies with networks upon networks upon backups come backups can also go down. So for the rest of us, our sites can go down too. So it's something you just need to be aware of and take the precautions you can to make sure that your properties don't go down. So Facebook going down, what are your thoughts? My thought is I didn't even notice because I was on an airplane. So by the time it went down, and by the time I landed, a couple minutes, it was back up. So you told me it was like, Facebook is down. Like, I got the message from you, Facebook was down. And I was like, oh, really? Like, wow, that's strange. Because I had just posted something before the plane took off. So it was good before I landed. <laughs> I mean, it was good before I took off. Then when I landed, it was like, oh, so, you know, that's that's the whole thing about travel. Like, you could, you could miss a whole crisis by being on an airplane for a couple hours. <laughs> but your point, man. Your your point is the idea of balancing old school versus new school technology. Like, you, like I notice it all the time when power goes out and some businesses have to shut down completely. They can't do any transactions. Right? It's almost like they forgot about how to count money. Right? They can't like, oh no, we can't do nothing because we don't got we don't got no power. Like, well, you can't take a you can't take like a dollar. Like you can you don't know how, like you know how to do change. It was gone. So how dependent you are on other people's systems and not having levels of redundancy, like having backups that are analog, right? So we think about the digital age versus the analog age. And sometimes yeah. you still need to hold on to like the old way to process something, you know, on pencil paper in case something does go down. And that's why it's really important for people who use these platforms, these social media platforms, to make sure that they get the data off of those platforms as quickly as possible. Yeah. If yeah. you only allow yourself to communicate through those platforms, if you don't have a way to connect with those people outside of those platforms, if you don't have their email or their phone number in case something else pops up, right? Because we this is not new. Like eventually, Meta could be replaced you know there was a time when everybody was on one platform that platform got replaced by another platform and they got replaced by another platform so eventually some of these things are going to fade and we just, we've just gotten consistently relying on one because it's been a lot of number a lot of years I mean, uh, facebook came out in the early 2000s right 2004 2005 something like that so you're yeah. talking about we're going on almost 20 years so we, we we've gotten accustomed to it being there <clears throat> but that doesn't mean it's always going to be there. So the thing is, you got to make sure that you are ready for the change before the change happens. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I got a lot of uh, emails um, from people from other marketers and business owners that were like, you know, they were like, hey, Facebook is down. And, you know, you know, that is one of the reasons why it's important to make sure you obtain your list off of, you know, those platforms so you can reach out like I'm reaching out to you now just in case something happens. So it was interesting to see how so many, you know, how I got so many emails that Facebook was down because now they can't reach like immediately and, and they have to be like, hey, Facebook is down. So you are you are absolutely you, you, you're absolutely right about that. And um, and when you've been in business for a while, you've you've seen certain things like this happen, like, you know, uh, big things that seem to be 
like like they're going to be around forever but some something can come along and just can take uh the clients and attention away from it um faster than what a lot of people will believe you know even if we think back to a uh, blockbuster right it was like it's just something else came along and now it was gone so i think there's one left if it's still left but yeah well, i mean greg like what, what the, the, two points there just just because something's been around for a long time doesn't mean it'll be around forever right that's right so we've seen so many places so many stores that have been around forever and then they'll just disappear they're gone blockbusters is one but there are so many before blockbuster i mean and when's the last time you saw a pontiac <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, so uh, always will be. I mean, yeah, man. They're, they're car car brands that don't even the kids nowadays don't even exist anymore. Like, what is that? You talk to your daughter Sydney, right, or talk to my daughters Layla and Jalen. They're like, they're like, they have no context for like what that is. They don't think they yeah. don't know what it is because yeah. it's their their life experience didn't consist of those things. But the yeah. other thing, Greg, I think it's important for people to miss is the illusion of thinking you're on different platforms. I hope everybody got, I hope everybody was catching this, right? Because there's, there's, there's this illusion that Facebook, Instagram, Messenger. they're different platforms, right? They're all different, right? It's same thing with like Google, YouTube, like some of these things are just the same company with just different names. So if Meta goes down, it's not just Facebook has gone down, it's Facebook. It's, so if you're on Facebook and Instagram and using threads and you're thinking like, oh, I'm posting in different places or I got stuff happening in different places and it's really just one one yeah. umbrella. Yeah. And it, so if Google goes down, that means YouTube goes down. So it's like you, you have to understand the platforms <laughs> that are underneath the bigger platform so if that bigger platform goes down, it's it's, it's really the all one company. Yeah, because they gobbled them up. I mean, uh, Messenger was its own platform, then Facebook acquired it. Um, Facebook acquired Instagram, right? And so it's like they, they acquired yeah, exactly. it. Google acquired YouTube. And so yeah, when they when those things go down, what else? You know, there's 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 so many things that are connected to those uh, major platforms. So yeah, man, you gotta be, you gotta be careful. You gotta know what's connected to what. Um. Mm, yeah, 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 I know that it's all the same parent. It's like the same parent company. And so you have to yeah. know that this company, this company is the same as the other company. So when you're using this, you're also, you're, it's the subsidiary. So you have to know that. So, so if you, to, so to really, to really say you're on a different platform, that'd be like Facebook versus LinkedIn versus Facebook and Instagram. Right. Facebook and yeah. Instagram are the same platform. Yeah. It's just different yeah. ways. It's just different ways to dispense the kind. It's just different versions of the same company. Yep. Yeah, man. It's amazing. So listen, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to dive into these these apps. Share with you some some really yeah, cool so resources. To a happier I found. note. You know, Say that again. Yeah, I missed a it. happier note. <laughs> switch switch into a happier note. And I'm sure some people are still recovering from their Facebook their Facebook. Uh, <laughs> Uh, withdraw. You know, the oh, Facebook I, withdraw. I mean, like, oh it, it's it's been back up a couple of hours from now. I think they're okay. I think they're okay. Yeah, but, you know, they had to suffer for a little bit with the like, you know, I couldn't scroll through my news feed and see I couldn't like a post. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. All right, cool, man. So here we go. We're gonna talk about some uh, some really cool apps. So first one I'm gonna talk about um, is something that a client of mine asked me about. Uh, they asked me about this week, and that was Big View. Um, I have it. I use it. Jerry has it. He uses it. It's a great um, resource. It's basically a teleprompter for your phone. So you can create a script. It has AI built into it now. So it can help you create that script and put it right on your phone. So you can either walk and record or put it on a, a selfie stick tripod <laughs> like we've been talking about and record. And um, it's back. So it wasn't in AppSumo a, a couple weeks ago, but it is back and it's going to leave uh, in seven days. So if you want this, I highly recommend you go get it. And because I had a, a, a client of mine asking me um, about it and he was looking in certain groups where he was trying to find someone willing to sell it. This is one of those really, really um, good ones. It's back. So if you if you need this, go grab it now. It's something that we have and use and highly recommend. So Big View allows you to teleprompter on your phone to get that video done right quick. So go check that out. And if you need it, grab it up while you can for the one-time AppSumo deal starting at $69 going all the way up to, oh, wow. Oh my goodness. 
I can't. It's, it can goes up so many codes now, Jerry. I can't even see the end of the screen. So <laughs> several hundred dollars after after eight codes. Okay, so it it, it goes up there. But uh, definitely check out Big View. <laughs> So that that's one you can stack it. They, they they said they're trying to stack it, stack it yep. high. Yep. Yeah, but it's back. It's back for those who missed it the first time, the first go round. It's back. Yes, big view. All right. The next one we're gonna go talk about is something called um, Go Brunch, and the reason why I want to talk about this one is because for a few years we had a platform that we used for uh, events, virtual events called Hopin. Um, some of you may be familiar with StreamYard because Hopin bought StreamYard and then Hopin got bought out. And so now it's it's a different thing. However, if you want a really cool way to have virtual meetings um, that is different flavor than Zoom, I highly recommend you check out Go Brunch. OK, so you can come watch the video, but it is where you can have uh, meetings, a showcase events. You can have a co-working space, you can have a webinar. So it gives you these different um, ways to have virtual events that will give you a different look and feel and presentation style. So you can choose, you can have like a, a classroom setting where you as the um, presenter have control over um, who can, you know, open up their mic and share. It is a pretty cool platform. I think it would help a lot of people out um, by having something that is uh, different than Zoom, but be familiar with the presentation platform and not just like a meeting where only where you have to give the people who are attending the ability to speak. So it gives you a little bit more control. Um, so yeah, man. And it allows you to set it up uh, how you like it. And it's starting at $79, um, which is a major savings because um, that same platform would cost you about over $800. And then they have several tiers going up to uh, just under $240 which is over, which is just under a $7,000 value. So you definitely check this out. It is called Go Brunch. If you need a platform to meet similar uh, to Zoom to give you a different look and feel for your um, meetings. Jerry, this one right here on the screen, uh, it looks like the U-shaped style that uh, people use for mastermind groups. And I know you're familiar right. with how they, how they, uh, how that U-shaped, um, idea came from, uh, don't get me, don't get me wrong. Uh, I think it came from Trump university on how to have a mastermind and I could be wrong, but I don't know who, who came up with it, but it's pretty cool yeah, where you can a, have, have that set up virtually. Yeah. So this is so great to add to what you were saying. Uh, if you are someone who's not thinking about having a meeting, but more producing. This is more like producing meetings, producing events. Produ it's production, you're increasing your production value because uh, Zoom is a way to meet, but you'd have to hire a producer in order to get your Zoom to be something different than what it is for a regular meeting. So this is just, this is about if you're gonna host, if you're looking at hosting events to simulate on a virtual experience what it's like to be in person, to give people a feel of being in person on a virtual space, and to take your production level to a, a higher uh, um, event to almost simulate the the, the in-person experience on a virtual environment, then this is what you would want to use. Something like yep. this. So yeah, for yeah. those who will think about like, how do I produce an event? How do I host an event and have the virtual experience be similar to that of the online experience, to the in-person experience? This, so that Zoom does not do that. Zoom does not give you a feel of what it would be like to be in person. Um, yeah, so this would give you that, like the expo yep. halls and the, yep. you know, the meet and greet networking, we don't exchange information with people like, you know, business cards and networking, things like that. Yep. Definitely take a look at it. If you're in the market for something like that, I know that uh, now that we don't have Hoppin anymore, I will definitely be checking that out. All right. We're going to go ahead and move on to our next uh, resource. This one is called Minvo. Okay. And so Minvo will take your long form content like this show break it up into um, break it up into short segments that are um, streamable and that are viral. It'll find the most viral 
part of the content and share it out um, with you. And it is very, uh, it is a direct competitor to something we use called Opus Pro. And Opus does the same type thing. Um, but this particular one, number one, it's an AppSumo. That means you can get it at a lifetime deal. Again, the lifetime of the company. <laughs> but um, and get it at a lifetime deal. But it also allows you to have more control. Opus is kind of a set it and forget it. Put it up there, let it do its thing, and just grab the clips. Um, but if you really want to get a little bit granular on how it and where it cut it up, you didn't have that control in Opus. You had some control of the fonts and the colors and where the... Uh, text went, but you didn't have like a lot of control. This gives you a lot more control of of that um, process. So you can you can you can select which. If I, if I get the mouse over here, if you look over here, you can see like certain words are highlighted, and you can kind of control that. You can see where the uh, emojis go. So it gives you a lot more control. It'll just do it like Opus, but then you can go in there and change it a lot more than you could with Opus. So again. Minvo, if you're looking for something to take long form content and create short form content and give you control, I highly recommend you guys check this out. It starts at $59 a month for the for a tier one license, and then it goes all the way up to tier five. Um, and you can figure out how many users and how many hours. Basically, the difference comes between how many hours and how much storage uh, you get and how long that storage is as you go up in price for this service. So highly recommend you guys uh, check that out if you are in the need for a product like uh, similar to Opus, but give you more control. Definitely. What'd you think? You like that one, Jerry? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, if you think about what Opus would be for the year, you can get this for a lifetime. There you and, go. Yeah, and we know that, like we've been talking about today, some companies that were sold. But you know what? That just so people know, if you are an AppSumo person, if you do want to shop at AppSumo, they have what we call um, AppSumo uh, like plus membership, where if somebody does sell like the company and they stop the service, they you can get your money back, and they don't have an alternative that would support it. So you cover it. It's like an insurance on your lifetime deals. <laughs> Yes, they they came out with that after <laughs> after the fact, uh, because of of things like that happening. Yeah, I definitely came out with that with that after the. F yeah. I, I'm thinking about stuff that I bought that the company's changed. But long story short, if you get stuff now, you are covered, which is pretty cool. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. All right, cool. We're gonna talk about this other one. This one is called V Connect, and this one. Guys, I want you to look at this, right? It's, it's normal price is $3,500. And so what is it? It is literally your own version of Zoom that allows you to basically brand your own version and have your own, uh, not only white label, but your own your own system, okay? Um, it is one of those that is it is a startup. It's, it's very early in the process um, of setting it up. That's why there's only like one review but I think it's worth it if you ever wanted to have your own Zoom, um, a product like Zoom with your name on it. And so instead of being Zoom, it could be whatever name you want and have pretty much almost all of the same functionalities, but also higher quality of video um, going in and out. I think you should check this out because this is a self-hosted white label video conferencing script that allows um, seamless, high quality video conferencing experience. So basically what you're getting is you're getting the script, you're getting the code to basically have your own Zoom. And for $49, if that was ever something you thought about, I think you should check it out. Um, you will need to probably get a programmer to set it up and you may need a server, but for the price of it, if that's something you're interested in, it's definitely worth a look. And remember with AppSumo, you can get it, try it out. And if you're not happy, you can get your money back. So definitely, if you want something, um, your white label self hosted video conferencing solution, your own video conferencing solution, go ahead and check this out. This um, At this price point, it is definitely worth a look if you ever thought you'd be interested in it, right? So entrepreneurs, webinar organizers, event management companies, um, educational experts, people in healthcare, right? Anybody of those um, who are in the market for their own video conferencing, definitely check this out. So that's vConnect. And um, it's one of those gems I found that's like, oh, that would be interesting to be able to have my own video platform. I like it, Jerry. 
Yep. I mean, so this is definitely for someone who is in that space, especially if they have a text, a technology component to what they do in terms of their service offerings, and they want to be able to, to like sell their own version, their own product, and yes. become a, a competitor in that space. Yep. Or even if they just need to have it for their own um, internal use, um, because they, you know, there's sometimes people are concerned about the the information being right. going, you know, going over and they want to have it in their own server. So now you can set up this on your own server and you're in control of everything. And the data is all in yep. your, on, in your park. Right. So cool. The self, self-contained video streaming platform. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. We're going to move on to the next one. This next one is called happier leads. So this, this one is for those people who are looking for B to B connections, right? So, um, if you're looking to reach, you know, the CEOs and um, executive office types who are, are C-level suite, A-level suites, and all those guys who are at the top of these companies, big companies, uh, medium-sized companies, and you want a way to reach them, there are quite a few of these type companies out there um, that will, will help you find business-to-business -business leads. But Happier Leads is one that I found um, that I thought was really, really powerful and also really valuable for what they're offering. So if you go to their website, you'll see that they're offering their services for several thousands of dollars because what it can do. But again, this is one of these gems on, on AppSumo that if you're, if you're, if you know they're there while they're there, you can, you can get a really, really good deal. So again, for under a hundred bucks, guys, $69, you can tap into this and see if this can work for your business. One of the things I liked, watch this video. Um, let me just go back up here. Yeah. Watch the video, read the description of what it can do. But long story short, it will allow you to reach out to business to business leads. And they have, um, where did I see it? Uh, over 160, here it is, over 180 million decision makers and over 60 million companies. And it will even allow you to filter the type of um, the type of titles you can reach. So if you want to reach like the uh, president and the owners and see and the CFOs, you can have one type of outreach for them and you can have another type of outreach for other uh, type of executives in that company as well. And it will um, send out those communications to them based on what level they have, something I haven't seen in other platforms as well. And it also has a direct connection with LinkedIn. So it, it will scrape and send out information on LinkedIn. So listen, if you're interested in reaching B2B clients, if that's who you need to reach, you definitely want to come check out Happier Leads. Um, it's 99% off. You can get it for a hunt for under a hundred dollars, a program that's over five grand. So listen, again, one of these gems, one of these things that can be really, really valuable for your business, something that you may not have normally been able to get into on sale. Now at Sumo Happier Leads, definitely check that out. If you're in the market for business to business leads. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bro. We got uh, we got one, one more. more, right? I'm excited for this one. One more. All right, let's 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 knock it out. This one I think is pretty cool. Um, it's it's uh called Share Doc View, and what I th what I thought why I put this one on the list is because um, it's an alternative to like Dropbox and Google Drive, but most importantly, it allow you to share. A document, right? Some that's that's in any type of document that you want to share, and you can set it so that it will um, ask for the email address before it shares it. So if you have something that you wanted to get out really quick and it's really valuable and you want to test the market, you can basically, hey, I got this thing, check it out, go here and just send them the link, and then they would have to opt in to get it. So you wouldn't have to build a landing page, you wouldn't have to build a follow up email. You can build your email list, and you could help see if if the thing that you're offering is valuable enough for people to to send their email. It has some cover up other cool features too, but I like you know get emails to view or download. Uh, verified locations and passwords. You can also set a password for it um, and some other things as well. It also verify the email so that if you send it to someone and they put in a fake email address, it, they're not going to get it, right? Uh, and you can update it with one click. Again, this is something um, that I think is really, really cool that you can do with just a link. It's like taking the link and the sharing of a document to a whole new level of things you can do with it. As you see, it can uh, integrate with Zapier. Um, it can also add that contact information to a Google sheet. Um, so many things you can do with this one. 
Um, oh, you can also brand and watermark it with your own logo. <laughs> so definitely check out uh, this particular app called Share Doc View. It will give you so much more than um, just sending an attachment in an email. Um, we've all done that, and then we have to go back and look and find for it or figure out where we saved it. Definitely check out uh, Share Doc View. It's one of those things that will help you. Um, monetize your links. <laughs> That's probably the best way I can say it. So share doc view is the last app on our uh, show for today. And definitely check that out. Um, it is starting at $139 for one code and it goes all the way up to 12 codes. It's probably one of the more expensive apps for mode deals that I've seen where it's going over a thousand dollars if you want all of all of the things that it can uh, give you but again for less than 150 dollars you can get started and see if it's right for you so check out share doc view your thoughts yeah, on I this one sir? I, like I think it's like man I like it I like it because it will allow you to collect the data from things that you create so if you're going to spend time creating something that's a value to people you might as well know who it is that's using it and who's receiving it. And especially if someone else shares the link with somebody. So yeah. they, if you, so someone could have got the link and then sent it to someone else. Now, you know, every person who could access that information. Yep. Without having to do a landing page. Yep. So listen, regardless of uh, where you are, we've had something that, um, we've had something that you could most likely be interested in during today's show. We covered everything from business to business leads to, uh, meetings and, and zoom <laughs> everything in between. So if you found this valuable, make sure you guys uh, share. If you uh, have any questions, make sure you join our group at technology tuesday.com and, uh, Jerry, anything else I'm leaving out before we call it a show. I think you got to cover, man. Just comment. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you liked about today's episode what was what what app what app sumo deal did you think was the best put that in the group let us know your thoughts and comment share comment invite people to next week yes th thank you very much and if there's any tool or app that you think deserves our attention please let us know in the group um, a lot of times my uh, clients and friends and uh, partners share with me things that uh, they, they find interesting. So if you have something uh, that you think deserves our attention, please let us know. And we'd be more happy to share that app with the world on our show. And with that, thank you guys for tuning in and we will see you again next week. Take care.